hello everyone in this uh, video we are going to talk about the different method of doing the configuration to the ACI fabric so as you aware in the ACI fabric you do the configuration on the EPIC and then EPIC push it to the respective leaf and spine so there are mainly three methods available uh, GUI XML or JSON and the CLI GUI is the simplest way of doing the configuration um, but it's not a scalable if you want to do a couple of lines of configuration or creating one EPG or stating binding VLAN pool then it is fine but if you want to do a hundred slab line of configuration multiple EPG thousand of PD then the way to go is the XML or JSON okay so using XML JSON you can create the entire tenant configuration thousand of PD, EPG, multiple tenant, L3 out, IPG, IPF, even the entire fabric configuration you can push it via the XML or JSON and third is the CLI which is the traditional way of doing the configuration so CLI command here is uh, little bit different than an XOS not entirely but because of the object model concept uh, the configuration is to be in the hierarchy Okay, so there are lots of Cisco document available on how to do configuration by GUI, XML and the CLI for the specific section. I prefer to do the configuration by XML because it's the easy way to do that. Now question is how do you create a configuration in XML? So there are the various way of creating the configuration in XML. Uh, most of the customer build their own tool where you feed the data VLAN IP address detail naming everything and then configuration get generated in the XML format XML or JSON okay. uh, if you don't have any tool available then you can go to the Cisco document where in the Cisco document there are temp ready made template available for VLAN pool IPG IPF for everything whatever you can configure in the ACI so there are template available in the XML you can use their template and put your required data and third way if you if you, if you uh, don't want to do that as well then uh, you can go to the ACI fabric so so in this uh, uh, ACI fabric I have a leaf 101 where I have created one slash one interface I created profile for the first number of interface now I want to create for the rest of the interface using the same policy group okay so if I want if I do by the GUI it's gonna take a lot of time so what I'll do I'll just right click save as only configuration subtree export format as XML and download it okay so I had already downloaded and um, I open in the notepad plus plus so you can remove this uh, I am data file which is not required okay. what I need to do is so this is the basically section for the ports so like Ethernet 1 hyphen 1 that's a naming okay uh, 101 that's a leaf ID okay and this is the fax underscore IPG so that's basically the IPG that I created and from and the from port to to port that is a port number so if I want to do it for the second number of port what I'll do I'll change it to 102 from port to so same I need to repeat for the rest of the interface See. so I'll just show you with the file number of interface but uh, you can do that for the as many number of interface as you want
okay so here is my xml sdd so what i'll do i'll uh, go to the epic just right click on uh, the profile post I'll, i have this file download it here so this post I think file is not saved, something is wrong. I had selected the wrong file. Uh, let me post the correct file. Plus this one and post. Okay. So now you can see the configuration is generated for the world. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 port number with the same policy bill. So you can do for the as many interface as you want. So this is the example which I have shown is for the interface profile but you can repeat for the IPG, switch profile, EPG, contract, anything you want.